Hello everybody, my name is Nick Olson with the Olson Group and I wanted to talk to you guys today a little bit about long-term care hybrid policies. Some of these asset-based long-term care products that have been very popular here in the marketplace recently. And uh, I'm not going to go really into all of the details about the ins and outs of how each one of these products work, but I want to talk to you about maybe how you should be adding this into your product portfolio and making it one of your planning techniques when you work with your clients. I think uh, having some type of long-term care provision in a client's portfolio is essential these days. You do things where you solve for the client's income, you put them in safety positions, you give them growth, and you even maybe have death benefit things out there to for spouses and kids and all those kind of things. A lot of times people uh, don't have the long-term care component in there. As you know, um, you know anybody that's been involved with any type of a long-term care situation know how expensive it can be. So what we really want to do is protect from a catastrophic event like a nursing home stay or home health care and assisted living here by taking a portion of that money that the client has to ensure the rest of your nest egg here. I like to think about it as uh, uh, if you have a pizza and we're using one slice of that pizza to ensure the rest of the pie. That's really what we can do here. It's essentially these are high deductible long-term care policies. You know, 50 or 100 grand going into one of these products might, you know, protect 600,000 of assets that the clients have. So you, you do all of the insurance for everything else, you know, you have it on your car, you have it on your home, why not insure your nest egg here by utilizing a long-term care hybrid product? Now there are all different types of products here. You, there are annuity chassis products, there are life insurance products. You can utilize different type of tax qualifications. Non-qualified money is the easiest one to use, but even there are some inventive products now that utilize qualified funds where you can have them internally transferred over into a qualified long-term care product and spread out the tax burden so they're not taking the money out of that IRA and paying all the tax on it now. We have ones where we can do it over time to, to maybe uh, lower that burden. With the Pension Protection Act, we can do what I call a non-qualified annuity trick. So if, let's say you have a client that has a lot of taxable, tax deferred buildup in an annuity product and it's non-qualified and they've had it maybe for years and let's say they have, you know, they put 50 grand in, that's the cost basis and it's grown to $100,000 now. Well, they got 50 grand of taxable buildup in there that they're gonna have to pay sometime. Either they're gonna have to pay it or the heirs are gonna have to pay it. So what we can do, we can 1035 exchange that money into an annuity with a long-term care writer. And if the client utilizes those funds for long-term care purposes and go on claim later on, they never have to pay taxes on any of the earnings. Not just the earnings for from the long-term care hybrid policy where the growth was there, but from the growth from the beginning of time since it was transferred over by a 1035 exchange. So that's really the only way I know of about how to get away with not having to pay taxes on a non-qualified annuity buildup there. So think about people that you have in your database that maybe have similar products like that and we'll get you a quote for that. You know, the biggest thing about this uh, hybrid marketplace too is people don't think of these products as a use it or lose it type of situation like they do with traditional long-term care. Now, I think traditional long-term care is great if the clients uh, can afford it and if they're also going to be okay with probably a lot of price increases throughout the life of the contract. But this is definitely is a, is a type of product that resonates a lot better with clients these days because if they don't use it, you just got an annuity for tax deferred buildup. If you don't use it and it's life insurance, you have a tax-free death benefit that goes to the heirs. And if you do use it, then it protects the rest of your nest egg from this catastrophic event that could be very expensive without any type of insurance. Uh, one new thing too, we have a lot of new products coming out that are indemnity long-term care hybrid products as well. You know, most of these in the past have been reimbursements, so you need to show the receipts, show what uh, the whole costs are of this care, and then you're reimbursed from the insurance company. With these indemnity policies, they just say, hey, you qualify, you can't perform two out of the six activities of daily living, or you have a cognitive impairment, we're just gonna pay you this amount of cash, you don't have to worry about getting us the receipts and uh, you know doing the reimbursement deal. So in conclusion, I really just wanna say, consider long-term care hybrid products out there, 
There are lots of different types of, of products that you can use, even utilizing a single premium life product with just a chronic illness rider. That's a great way to at least do something to protect your client from um, this type of catastrophic loss that could go on there. So if you do have more questions about this or want to give us get a quote, call us at 877-844-0900 or visit us online at olsongroup.com and that is O-H-L-S-O-N group.com. And like my father Ray always says, until next time, good selling.